Hi, Al. Time to wake up, love. Gail Dwyer devotes her life to caring for her 15-year-old son. Al has cerebral palsy. Uh, we didn't know he had cerebral palsy until he was 12 months old. I've heard people tell me before that if you have a disabled child, you don't have a life of your own. No, no, you don't. <laughs> it changes. It changes a lot. So what would be the best Christmas present you could give a parent like Gail? Well, that brings us to St Ignatius College Riverview. The private Sydney boys' school has decided to take Gail's son off her hands, along with 22 other disabled kids. For four days and nights, a group of teenagers have given of themselves like never before, so that the parents of those disabled kids could stop giving. Friday, Saturday rolled along. The 24 Ignatius students and nine Loretto girls carried and fed and played and bathed changed and toileted their little friends with never a word of complaint. Can we ride on the escalator? Bob Hanley, the school's pastoral coordinator, said the Year 12 students broke off their holidays, left their friends kicking up their heels during schoolies week to give these kids a holiday and, more importantly, their parents a break. Robin Wade with that report. Absolutely. And by the way, the camp cost the school $20,000 and it won't happen again unless a sponsor comes forward to keep the idea alive. So do let's hope a sponsor is found. 20,000 bucks is peanuts. Not much. Yeah. From one camp in 1998, Today, some 35 schools take part in 17 camps in New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, Tasmania, Western Australia, South Australia and the Northern Territory. For the teenage carers, it's a crash course in the 24-hour care of a child with special needs. I went on the camp as a companion in 2001 on the Ignatian Children's Holiday Camp and I met this great little boy, Sandy, who was just full of life. He, um, he's in a wheelchair but you honestly wouldn't know, he just has so much energy and um, we just really created this great bond and spent a lot of time together and we've kept in contact ever since. I go to his wheelchair footy games, chat on the phone, all that kind of stuff, really become great friends. The Sony Foundation Holiday Camps are just incredible. Young people get put down so much today and you really just have to see these young people to realise they're, they're wonderful young people. I've changed so much. I'm a completely different person to what I was four days ago and I didn't think that would occur. Finally, i got to tell you that there are some schools facing the problem of having to turn kids away, such as the popularity of the children's holiday camps. With your support, not only can we avoid this happening, but we can establish more Sony Foundation children's holiday camps for families that really need it. Thanks for your time.